Hey guys, I just wanted to touch base with uh, some of the viewers here. I've had a lot of questions recently on my uh, Facebook account regarding the result of the candy machine. I uh, posted a video quite a while back uh, when we first got it. Um, this thing's actually been done for almost two and a half years now. Um, so just me being lazy, finally getting around to getting some follow-up footage so you guys can see, um, obviously... The day that I got it, I gave that description on how the thing operated. Um, just kind of give you a quick overview as to some of the things that we did to uh, restore this thing back to its original condition. Um, you can see we obviously went with a uh, traditional classic red on the unit. Um, we tied it in with the black. Like I said, there would have been a few different color options to, to choose from initially. Um, we went with uh, solid red and then just pinstripe and did the accents in black. Um, so, see the, um, I polished the nickel plating back out into that. And uh, let's see. You can see some of the pinstriping that goes down the side. We just did the, the base in a gloss black. Um, the only thing that I actually didn't get to restore was this knob. Um, I wasn't sure. I figure I could probably do like a plastic filler or something to get that gouge. I'm not sure if you can see the gouge, how good the video is going to be, but um, the gouge that's in there, I mean, that's really one of the only things that stands out on the actual unit itself. Um, as you can see, the glass is in great shape. We went in and I think I'd like to, I don't, I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can turn the... Um, you can see the embossment where it says candy. Um, it says fresh right here. I intend, I don't know if you can see that or not, that might be a little better. Uh, I intend to bring that out um, with a white and there's also a little bit of embossment that's down here uh, in the storage tray that um, is in this door here. This, this door actually pulls out and you can see that's where the storage for the candy would have been as well. Um, I'd like to get that embossment done uh, as well on that. Um, let's see if I can get a side view over here. Just kind of just sitting back by our back door there. Um, so actually, I mean, if, if you can tell, I mean, it, things go pretty well. The flow, we've kind of got a, a traditional style home here. I don't know if you can see, I guess, kind of how everything ties in. We've got, uh, that is a, a 1940s railroad cart that I restored um, from a local railroad that went out of business. Actually, kind of strange, but we found the whole back history on that cart when we got it, and that was something that uh, I restored as we moved into this house. Um, so another thing and I, I, I'm actually going to be making another video because I've got um, a gas pump that is uh, a Tokheim 39 from 1949 uh, build date that we actually restored as well so I'm um, going to put a video up shortly in that uh, if you guys have any questions feel free um, give me a ring I uh, pay attention to my YouTube account a little more than I used to so I apologize for those of you who have asked questions and the comments um, I didn't check it you know, often enough to respond to anybody. I, you know, hope to change that this year and kind of be more um, proactive as to responding to any questions or um, or giving anybody pointers that, you know, uh, like to ask. So hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.